welcome back. This is uh, Guitar Corner with yet another uh, rock band uh, game controller. This is the one that still has that uh, five pin MIDI controller there if you've got any instruments you want to use that with. But today I'm using it wirelessly uh, with the, um, this is the dongle that comes with the Wii version of it. And essentially uh, I'm taking the uh, USB uh, information that's coming from that converting it to MIDI with a Python script, and then that's running a, uh, a soft synth uh, on the Raspberry Pi. So you get an amazing selection of uh, cheesy general MIDI uh, presets. And uh, and you, you might be wondering, well, how, do, how does the wireless connection affect the uh, kind of latency issue of the notes? And um, I mean, to be honest, it doesn't improve it. Um, the uh, if, I press, if I hit a lot of chords really quickly, it's a bit of a buffering uh, issue going on there. Some of that is actually to do with the soft synth on the Raspberry Pi, so uh, it could potentially be optimised. Uh, so you get you've got these two octaves here. You can go up, down there. Um, we're kind of in the middle of the general MIDI uh, uh, <laughs> violin section. Like, um, I'm convinced that the uh, the, the latency. Uh, so the, these are um, these are velocity sensitive, and um, uh, there's a there's an uh, implementation of pitch bend in there. That's just my first stab at that in the Python script. So and the the, the, co the code for that is available, so you can you can have another go at it. Of course, um, uh, I'm I'm convinced that the latency is uh, is partly to do with the Raspberry Pi because if you take it out, uh, just take out the dongle and put it in a laptop. Uh, here I've got, uh, could be a MacBook, but I, I've got an old uh, Windows machine and uh, some exciting new software on here. I'm gonna, uh, so it's gonna de again decode that USB information that's coming wirelessly and send it to the Coolsoft virtual MIDI synth, uh, free download, much faster than the, um, <laughs> the, the Microsoft uh, soft synth. Oh, hang on, I need to swap over the audio as well. Um, so yeah, so. Here um, feels uh, substantially more responsive. Uh, so uh, I mean, I can't well, obviously I can't demonstrate that uh, entirely effectively, but um, uh, oh, these are the this is the high end of the of general MIDI palette. Marvelous helicopter noise um, and uh, all those pianos. Uh, so you could play that along with if you've got some sort of backing on your laptop here in Ableton. So, and uh, this has this has modulation on that on that uh, on that uh, on that control strip. Pitch bend if you hold the button down. Probably a better implementation of pitch bend than, than, than the one I had. And again, theoretically, you could swap them over if you if you don't like that. The um, and then finally, just to just to conclude, if you uh, if if you've lost the dongle, or uh, or that are like uh, would prefer to, to code your own synthesizers on the Arduino, uh, here's another uh, quick quick demonstration of this is. Um, this is the, 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 uh, the chip from the Ar Arduino inside a Tic Tac box with uh, the minimal components to run a synthesizer just run, just off the MIDI current that's coming out of here. So, oh, and I need to plug this in. Probably a bit quieter, this one. So this, this one's got a sequence in it. I could switch off if I wanted to. I'm just going to play along, see how it goes. But in fact, there's a there's a lot uh, of, of other demos of me doing this little kind of tic tac box sized uh, synthesizer. So you can you can check out those uh, somewhere else. And of course, when you unplug it, that kills the power. Oh yeah. <laughs> 